thank you for watching for another step in the tricopter scratch build on the Dr. C channel and now I have done a few things off camera too uh, as a matter of fact I have uh, mounted two rudders flappy things here they're not uh, uh, attached to any servos at the moment as you can see but uh, they will be and uh, I have switched around this motor and I'm now running the cables through a hole to the bottom so the ESC for this motor will also be mounted on the bottom and that's it so um, like I said we're gonna be mounting some electronics and um, the first thing up is the flight controller and as you can see the uh, GSM antenna is attached to it and uh, this is a remote uh, controller and that will also be mounted to the frame so and uh, in the previous video I talked about the CG and uh, the CG is marked over here so the flight controller is going to be mounted over here as well and let's just go and do that right now There, that's on. And uh, next thing I'll do is mount a receiver. Now the inputs for uh, this board are at the front here. Here are the inputs. And uh, this is my receiver. And lucky for me the inputs and outputs line up. That's nice. Uh, the output channel uh, uh, here is uh, one. And here is one as well, so that lines up very nicely. Let's plug them in now. You might notice that I'm not using uh, the exact amount of wires that I'm going to be using uh, channels for. Um, the first one is uh, a test in a normal fashion. And the, the, the channels uh, 2 to 7, I'll just hook up the channel wire, the, the signal wires. I hope that makes sense. Uh, you only need to use uh, one plus and minus. So this way I have seven channels by only using three wires. Makes it look a little cleaner. There you go, they're all attached. Now, because this uh, receiver is black, I'm not that concerned it, uh, that it's uh, going to be mounted at the top of the frame. Do. There. I'm uh, using uh, industrial double-sided tape for all these things so they'll be on very secure okay now I have to figure out where to mount my GPS and my radio receiver um, let me see this this here is the front of the GPS antenna so cable wise it would be most convenient to mount it over here I think yeah. Okay, let's put a few strips of double-sided tape on it. There. Needless to say, you need to really pay attention on a GPS that the front of the GPS is facing forward otherwise uh, yeah how is the GPS going to know what is east and what is west there we 
go. Once again, pay close attention that it's facing forward. Done. Okay, next up is this one. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna lay the antenna down or face it upwards. I've already checked if the prop won't hit it. That's uh, not gonna be an issue. So, check it out. There. Finished. So, and what shall I do next? Yeah, um, the ESCs, like I mentioned before, all ESCs are going to be mounted at the bottom of the frame. Here's going to be one at the bottom. Here's going to be one and approximately here, I think. So I could run the signal wires uh, to the side over here. Here are the, all the outputs. So the ESCs will be connected here and um, no, I don't really want to have the server, the, the signal wires go uh, past the side of the frame over here. So, what I'm going to do is drill a hole over here so the ESC signal wires can slot through that hole. So, let me get a drill. Hey, everybody, let's drill a hole. Mm -hmm. There we go, hold on. We've got a nice hole in our frame. And what shall we do next? Yeah, we can um, uh, mount the ESCs by now. So let's flip the frame over. There we go. And the ESCs I will also be mounting uh, with uh, double-sided tape. Let's see how these wires are running at the moment. Okay. Of course I don't uh, know the motor uh, rotation direction at this moment, but I can uh, Always flip those uh, wires around over here, of course. There, so this ESC will be over here. Huh, maybe that wire will even be long enough. That would be nice. Come on. Okay, maybe I'll do a, a wrap, uh, do a tie wrap around this. I'm not sure if that will be really necessary, but we'll see. And does this fit? Yeah. Signal wire runs nicely through that hole. Okay, do. And how I'm going? Am I going to run these wires through the inside? Yeah, that would be wisest to think. What would be a convenient spot for this? This. More to the front. Huh. I'm not really sure. This is not going to be long enough. I'll need a, an extension for that. Yeah. I'm gonna put it over here to have the least amount of wire inside. Okay.
There we go. And the next one. You know what? I really like this uh, adhesive double-sided tape, but the tape getting the backing off, especially on camera. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, I'm going to wires as much as I can. Yeah, I probably need some shit tied to uh, secure the wires, but that's great for us. Okay, that's on secure enough for now. Okay, now what's next? Um, yeah, I could uh, be uh, mount mounting those uh, tail servos. Yeah, as you uh, know, my tricopter will have a rudder set up, very unconventional, and uh, for that I will need to mount two servos, they'll be mounted over here. Now ideally they'll, they would be up in the precise center over here, but someone put a motor over there. What do you know? Right, so um, I'll be mounting them well as close to the center, of course. And uh, as you can see, I can't wrap a um, tie wrap around them, so I'll be uh, mounting them with um, hot glue. Hot glue uh, adheres to wood very good, so that should be enough. And if it's not enough, I'll be making a wood bracket to go around them. Yeah, no, but okay, and as you can see, there's more than enough room. Yeah, let's get the hot glue gun ready. Alrighty. Hot glue gun is nice and warm. So let's get cracking on those servos. Now let's first see exactly how I want them to be mounted. Oh yeah, um, of course I could mount them like this, with the arm uh, pushing uh, down like this, right? Or I can mount them like this. Now this would be best for the mounting uh, of it. I could mount them like uh, this, but uh, the, the the motion wouldn't be right. Uh, like I said, it would be circular down. Um, you can imagine that, uh, that on this surface here will be a um, control horn, and that won't move front to back. But this pivot point of the the the, the outer point that will be pushing down, which will be uh, moving front to back. So that's not a good mounting method and uh, this would be, this way the arm will just be pushing straight down, well straight, it will also be going in a radius but in the same radius as the, the control horn itself. So I'll be mounting it like this and I have to pay close attention uh, that the, the spine of the servo will be as close to the edge of my frame as possible, otherwise it will bind up to my frame. Which is not what I would want, of course. So the servo will be hanging out of the frame about one to two millimeters. Okay. Yep. Okay. Hot glue. I'm putting quite a liberal amount of hot glue on here, and I'll smear that out so it'll make a kind of a cradle around the servo, sort of won't look pretty, but it'll secure my servo in place well. Hi Onyx. Come is, come is. No? Okay. 
All right, Chevro one is on. Next. Check it again. It's not even uh, super important that they're exactly at the same position. It is, however, important that they are hanging out of the frame the same amount. And I think I've got that. All right, wood adheres to the wood very well. Okay, done. And well, the next thing would be to uh, put control horns on these uh, rudders and uh, make control uh, links from the servo arm to those control horns but um, well then the rudders would be pointing downwards all the time and uh, the frame would be resting on it and I think that will uh, damage them so um, next up would have to be some landing feet so uh, it's raised off the ground <coughs> Yeah, and uh, what am I going to make those out of? Well, um, I think three pieces of PVC piping would do the job. I'll put uh, one over here. It's uh, not that much bigger than the, the frame itself, the radius. So I'll put one over here over here and uh, approximately over here ideally I would put it over here or over here on the bottom side of course but there's not that much mounting uh, position space over there and the rudders would be hitting hitting it so I'll, I'm forced to put it over here on the bottom and uh, well these rudders are seven centimeters in width so i'll make uh, landing feet of what about nine eight nine centimeters yeah yeah okay i'll fabricate those okay well um i took uh, a look at uh, how long this video is uh, at this moment and it's getting a little long so I'll make those uh, landing feet uh, off camera uh, cutting a PVC pipe yeah that's not that interesting so um, I'll uh, put those on and in the next video I'll show you how to configure a APM this is an APM flight controller uh, I'll show you how to configure that for a tricopter and uh, we'll be checking the motor rotation uh, the, uh, we'll be calibrating all the um, uh, sensors in this flight controller we'll be calibrating the uh, GPS antenna and uh, that's it uh, yeah that will be coming up uh, pretty soon I think so uh, hold on for that and thank you very much for watching for now. See you back in another video. Bye bye.